Today we're going to be doing a 10 minute foot and ankle focused Pilates class. So this was a request that I was given from my mom. Shout out to mom. She has um, plantar fasciitis, um, which is an inflammation of the bottom of your foot. It goes all the way into your heel and up the back of your ankle. So um, we're going to work on strengthening the bottom of the foot and the ankle and also working on increasing flexibility in the back of the leg, the calves, and all around the ankle as well. So let's get started. First, I wanted to just do a little warm up. Um, all we're gonna be doing is prancing through the feet. So we lift the right heel up and then switch left heel up. So this is what it looks like from the side. And you wanna think that you're pushing your heel up over your toes as far as you can get it. So you should already be feeling a pretty good stretch into the bottom of your foot. And just standing up nice and tall, keeping your abdominals engaged and pushing up and over the ball of your foot, getting into a deeper stretch every single time. And now we're just gonna add a bend of the knees. So we bend at the bottom. So now I'm feeling a stretch at the standing leg and pushing over my toes for the um, popped foot. And then we switch and switch. You can kind of just let your arms swing so that you can keep your balance. Push and push. Feeling a stretch in the bottom of the foot in one leg and towards the back of the ankle on the other leg. Last five, four, three, two, and one. All right, lowering both heels down, just shake it out. Now from here, we're gonna work on strengthening the bottom of the foot. So you come up to the ball of your foot, you wanna use your toes to push off, pointing the foot, and then coming back down to the ball of your foot, heel down. So it looks like this, we go ball, push off toe, ball, heel. Ball, push, ball, heel. And every time, your toes are springing up into the air to press your foot off of the ground. And push, ball, heel, ball, toe, ball, heel. I'm already feeling the bottom of my foot starting to burn and work. So let's do three more. And two, push, and one, push. Feel those switch legs, and so now left leg we go ball, toe, ball, heel, ball, toe, ball, heel, ball, push, and keeping tall into your standing leg as well. So thinking of keeping your weight heavy in your right heel. And last four, push. Curling your toes under, point your toes at the top. Last two. And one, push and down, good. So now we're gonna need a TheraBand for the next part of this class. And you're just sitting down on the ground. All right, so. If you took my other TheraBand class, you know that when you place the band over your foot, you want to make sure that you have a little bit of band over the top of your toes so that it doesn't roll down your foot as soon as you point your toes. So I'm just placing it on one foot, and I'm going to start with the right leg. All right. And as always with a band, you can manage the tension. So if it feels too easy, Grab up tighter onto your band if it feels too hard, loosen up on the band. All right, so all we're gonna start out with is just a flex and point of the foot. So I'm pointing my toes and I'm flexing my toes. And once again, making sure you have plenty of band on top so that when you point your toes, it's not rolling down your foot. So as we're flexing and pointing, you wanna articulate through your foot. So you're thinking of pressing your ball of your foot down, then curling your toes, then toes curl back then flexing at the ankle. Point, toes, toes peel back, pulling your ankle back. Press, point, and lift. So you should feel a nice stretch at the top as you let the band pull your foot back, and then you're articulating through your foot to press the band away. Let's do three more here. And lift, last two, and one. Okay, so now this is where it gets a little tricky. We're going to, I'll show you on this foot since this one doesn't have the band on it, you can kind of see it. The foot is going out to 
the side and it's flexed. Once again, I don't want to be thinking about my whole leg rotating. It's not movement happening at the hip. It's movement happening at the ankle. So my ankle goes out. Then I'm going to point my toes, making an arc at the bottom, then curling my toes in like this. Keeping the toes crunched, press down, and then flex the toes out. Toes crunch, curl into a sickle foot position, and then press your feet down, flex your feet out. And toes in, down and out. Toes in, down and out. Now you can stop this other leg, doesn't really need to be working. We're just focusing on the right leg for now. And out. Let's do three more here. Down and out. And two. Really crunch your toes, keep them crunched, then flex them out. Then crunch your toes in. Crunch and flex out. Let's do one more. And flex out. Now we do the reverse of that. So I'm crunching my toes out, curving my foot down into that half arc, and then flexing my feet in. And toes crunch on the outside, and flex on the inside. Toes crunch on the out, and flex on the in. Woo! Crunch on the out and flex on the end. I'm feeling the bottom of my foot for sure, and my calf muscle are already firing up. Flex on the end, and crunch on the out, and flex on the end. Let's do three more, three. Crunch, push, and flex, and push, and crunch, push, and flex. Last one, crunch, and flex. shake it out. So what we just did is we sh we're strengthening all these muscles down here and then all of these muscles on the side of our ankle by doing this motion. Okay, we have another leg, so let's go to the left side. Make sure your band has plenty of extra band at the top so that as you flex and point your foot, you're able to do it without the band rolling up. All right, sitting up tall. First, we just started with our flex and point. And you're articulating through your foot. Think of your ball, then toe, toe, then ankle. Moving through the movement nice and slow. Ooh, I don't know about you, but my right leg is very happy to be just chilling right now. Left leg feels ready to go. I'm going to do four more like this, and then we'll start the arcs in and out. Lift, last three, and two, and one. Okay, so now let's go curl the toes in. So it's a sickle foot with toes curled, toes point down, and then flex out. Arcing the foot down and in, flexing the toes out, arcing the toes down and in, and flex out. Staying aware of the movement happening at your ankle and not at your hip, and making sure that the rest of our body is still in good posture, sitting up tall, keeping our abdominals engaged. Good. Flexing out, down, curl the low toes in. Last three, flex, pull back, push through, crunch the toes in. And two, flex, pull back, and crunch the toes in. Last one, flex back, crunch the toes in. Now to reverse, we're gonna go flex in, crunch the toes out. Flex in, crunch the toes out. And flex, push and crunch. Down and flex, down and crunch. Crunch. Make sure we're still getting the ankle moving. My hip is wanting to take over the movement because my ankle is tired. And crunch. Let's do three more. In and flex. Out and crunch. And two. Flex. And crunch. Last one. Push down. Flex your foot back. And crunch. Hold and release. Good. Ooh. Shake it out. 
Okay, now we're going to lay down. You're just going to lay down on your back. And we're going to place the band back around the right foot. So the right foot got a nice break. All right. This is getting a little bit more into a stretching portion. So all you want to do is just pull the band down. And you'll notice that the band is pulling my foot into a plantar flex position, or a flex foot. This causes the stretch to go all the way down my leg, especially in the calf muscles. So we just want to hold this for a little while. When you have plantar fasciitis, the calf muscles and this tendon, the Achilles tendon, gets very, very tight. So we want to make sure to stretch that daily. Since the feet are really warm and since we just worked on strengthening them, now is a really great time to stretch. Now, keeping your leg in the same position, just your ankle is going to rotate in. So my foot is going from a parallel position to a sickle position. My leg didn't move, just the ankle moved. And then keeping my leg where it's at, the foot is once again going to now go to a more outward rotation. And really think of pressing your heel towards the ceiling and pulling your toes down. Bring your leg back to parallel with your foot back to parallel and just hold it there, stretch it there. Let the band pull your toes down and release. Now we're going to switch to the left side. <coughs> okay. Flexing your foot back and then just holding it here. Breathing. And try and um, position your band so that it's pulling your toes back as well. If you're able to get the calf stretch with your toes also pulling down towards the floor, it intensifies the bottom of your foot, which is exactly where you need to stretch. Pulling down. Think of pulling your toes down towards the floor. And we're just breathing. All right, keeping your leg where it is, let your ankle rotate in. So that should give you a nice stretch on the outside of your leg, the lower leg. Just holding it and breathing. And now letting your leg stay where it is, but your ankle is going to now go to an outward rotation. So now you should feel more inside of the calf muscle, getting a nice stretch. Making sure your toes are still pulled down towards your nose, keeping your heel up towards the ceiling, flexing your foot as hard as you can. Good, coming back to a parallel ankle position. Pull, 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 and release. All right, now just sitting up tall, we're going to give our foot a little massage, which always feels nice. So bringing your right leg on top, you want to place your thumbs on the bottom of your foot, and you're pulling out like this. So we're just going to pull out and go down the foot. Once again, since our feet are warm and stretched, we now want to add in some massage. So whenever we have inflamed tendons, or muscles, we need to do a combination of massage, stretch, and strengthen. If we do a combination of those three things, it will help the inflamed area to gain the flexibility that it needs so that it can then strengthen and then the inflammation will go down because it won't be injured tight and weak anymore. So this is our massage phase. You're just using your thumbs and pulling out. You can also use your thumbs and just go down. Think of the um, muscle fibers are going this direction. So if my fingers were the muscle fibers, they're going up. You want to work across the muscle fibers. That helps to break them up. So we're working across them and pulling them apart to help loosen it up. Good. Now just grab your toes and give your ankle a nice circle. Let your arm do the work. Your ankle is just relaxed. Your arm is pumping it into the circle. Good. All right, now we're just going to switch legs. So left leg is on top. You're using your thumbs to pull out and working your way down the foot. And then you can also just work it in a cross motion. And if you find that this is causing a lot of pain, um, hold back on this and you can work your way up to these exercises. 
You can also ice your foot after this because this might increase inflammation. Um, but temporary increased inflammation is good because that means increased blood flow, which will mean increased healing. So I'm pulling out and down. You especially want to focus down towards your heel and the fascia right in your arch. Okay. Now from here, I'm just going to put my feet on the floor like this walk my hands over in front of my legs, and I'm just letting my heels drop down to the floor. So here like this, letting my heels drop down. And just breathing here, rocking from side to side, finding where you are tight. Now shift your weight into your hands, press your knees up, hips up, and then we're going to soften the knees, slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. All right, let's shake the feet out. And that's it. That's our 10-minute plantar fasciitis pilates class. See you next time.